Hey, it is Alexandra J, and today is day one of my cleanse, and I'm doing, as you said, saw in my video before, the clean, clean program, and it is, the intention is to remove, restore, and rejuvenate. So it's day one, and basically what we do is just do, um, you can buy a kit online if you want, and that's what I'm doing. And you do a smoothie in the morning, you have um, an awesome lunch, and then you do a smoothie for dinner, and you do that for 21 days. So that's what I'm doing. I love this stuff. I'm such a nerd. I get excited about this. Like last night, I went to bed excited knowing that I was going to be doing a cleanse today, and I woke up today just like giddy happy. I don't know. I just, I live for this stuff, and I think it's really cool and just really important to do, and I'm excited. So, um, the next three weeks I'm really just relaxing and doing a little hibernation, not being on the internet as much, meditating more, sleeping more, and all of that good stuff um, to just kind of let my body relax and purify and cleanse and bring in 2010 rockin'. So that is the intention. And I wanted to read you something really cool from the Clean Book. You can get this on Amazon if you want, and I highly recommend it. Really, really good. And it talks about blue zones. And in blue zones, these are areas where people are live over 100, and they're very active and just alive and vibrant. So I'm going to read you. There's three. In this book, he says that there's three blue zones. And one is in south of Ecuador. One is in the island south of Italy, and one is in the desert in Southern California. And I'm just going to read you kind of their lifestyle, um, which I find really inspiring and just something to aspire towards in our daily lives. So, they are, they grew everything they ate using only compost, water, and sun, no chemicals. Food was predominantly plants, mostly raw and always seasonal. Their animals were fed and raised in natural ways. They took longer to prepare or cook their food, a process more like a ritual than a chore. They chewed their food ten times longer than we do on average. They spent time in the sun. They moved a lot. They also enjoyed rich foods and wine occasionally. All of them had strong family bonds and treasure treasured friendships. Meals were eaten sitting at a table with family and friends. Life was lived with a strong sense of purpose and belonging to the community. That's amazing. I just find that really, really inspiring of, yeah, I just want to live that life every day and slow down and move and enjoy the sun and family and friends and chew food. People have different ways. Some people say you need to chew it 20 times. Some people say 50 but just practice it, chewing your food 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times. And if you get to like, you can just keep chewing it and eventually the food will disintegrate in your mouth. It's pretty amazing. It just naturally goes. But we, I know sometimes I'll take a quick little bite and then I'll take another one. And I really didn't chew it. And um, so that's something cool to play with and also just mindfulness of tasting everything that you eat and all the different textures and flavors and yumminess. So slowing down is one of my key practices for the next three weeks and the goal of a lifetime of mindful eating. <laughs> um, so that's it. Just wanted to say hello. Today is day one. I will be recording periodically, maybe every other day, maybe a couple times a week just to give you an update of where I am, but I'm super excited and um, I will share more soon, but just wanted to say hello and day one has started and I am stoked. So have an awesome day. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and um, lots of love. Mwah!